So, all right, I have a package well, no here for, for Senator Blanche Lincoln, and she is she is inside this building right now. This is the governor's mansion. She's having breakfast with Governor Mike Beebe and his wife. This package here is for her support of Senate Bill 604 for public accountability of the Federal Reserve. That car is against the law. Let's see if they let me in. I also have some uh, petitions over here for her to oppose cap and trade, which the coal industry, which in Arkansas, by the way, is a clean coal industry, uh, mind you, and the oil industry here in Arkansas are real cash cows for the state of Arkansas. This legislation would actually outsource those industries because these, those industries overseas are not subject to this cap and trade legislation. So when you talk about redistributing the wealth, you're actually redistributing the industry out of America because there's no incentive for that industry to exist anymore in, in America. And I, I hope that Blanche will represent her state duly in opposing this legislation. That might be way. No, that's the, that's the direction you put it on. I don't think it doesn't. <laughs> Let's see if they answer. Good morning. Hello? I have a delivery for Senator Lincoln. A delivery for Senator Blanche Lincoln. Any answer? I'm not getting any answer. Yeah, they're recording. I'm, I'm calling the governor's mansion right now to see if uh, I get somebody to let me in. Let me see if I can get a switchboard or an operator or something. They're not answering for whatever reason. Oh, there we go. Hopefully, at least you. Get a shot of the security uh, escorting me off the premises. Is this woman asked to leave? She press or? I don't know. She didn't want to talk to you. Hello? Hello, I have a delivery for Senator Blanche Lincoln. Hello? You know, that woman's probably going around to the other gate. <laughs> yeah. It's probably open. Blanche! Go back to Washington, Blanche! Just go! Go, Blanche! May I be mean, but we'll be loud. <laughs> oh my god, he's got a gun. Blanche and Madoff. Oh, those they are. Two peas in the pod. Outside? They're, they're in there, in that little oh, area, right. that shovel area. I can see the head of one of the security guys. Oh, yeah, no, they're hiding over there. Oh. The security's hiding from us. <laughs> yeah, security was standing out front. Uh, where's the limousine? It's on the other side of this hedge over here. No. Oh. They're waiting for me to go away. They're scanning you right now. <laughs> and we can't watch to see where it's going to go. They may just go right out the front. You can see through that fence over there. Yeah. 
complete, complete apathy and dismay coming from that camp over there. I see a limo. No, I see a van. That black vehicle back there. It it was it was sitting over here on this drive. The gate opened up like it was gonna walk, like it was gonna come out. I started walking through the gate behind the truck. But if she's in there, I I stopped them. You know, if that's her, because they were they were in position to leave. See if Rob can get in this time. Sir, I have a letter from my senator. Is she on the property? Nothing. I think that's a. Does she know I'm here? Does the governor know I'm here? I uh, think they're ignoring you. <laughs> My concern is 100% diplomatic. Trying to get into the governor's mansion. Uh, we were notified about this event by the Blanche Lincoln e-newsletter which was sent to however many thousand people and tens of thousands it's on a public schedule here all I'm asking is that this letter here regarding Federal Reserve transparency and accountability to our elected representatives be received that's all I'm asking All I'm asking is that my senator get this letter. Oh, that's not all. I see. It's if not the quite governor a limo. and the senator know that we're here, this is not very neighborly of them. Okay, plant lady looks like she's leaving. Blanche walks out that door. I'm gonna scream. I have a letter for my senator. All right. Let's see if she responds. The engine is running and idling. They're wasting gas. Well, yeah, stop wasting our gas. Hey now. Hey now. Let's be friendly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, I to it's not very green. No, she no. She like has somewhere to be at 10:30, and and she has told these people she's going to be there. I hope that the engine's idling and she's there on time. I'm not here to slow her down. Oh no. I'm here to demand a little bit of representation. I don't care if she reads the letter right here and now. I want to know that she has received it, and I don't want to have to go through 20 unpaid interns to get it to her either. Or and we're going to be with her all week. There you go. All week. Okay, we're going to. It's on her public schedule though. So she didn't want the public to be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't have put her on her public schedule. I signed up for her emails. I didn't sign up for her emails. Somebody signed me up. Oh, I, cool. I signed up for him. I signed up for him and I sent it to everybody. Okay, who's this? Who's That's that Governor Beebe. Electric Beebe. Car? I have a letter from my senator. Governor Beebe has just stepped Governor, out with... I have a letter from my senator. Some unknown dignitaries and... Yeah, Captain Trey! Hey, guys. Drowned me out. Sorry. Yeah, really. Well, baby's not gonna come get you. Oh, he's gonna run this down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's coming here right now. Slither oh. hey, out the back. Sorry, Rob. The limo is probably for Blanche then. Vic Snyder. Cap and trade. Stop, Cap and trade. Stop, Cap and trade. Stop, Cap and trade. Stop, Cap and trade. Stop spending my money. <laughs> <laughs>